Nigerians drag man alleged to be INEC chairman's son AFC congratulates his father days after tweeting that he will not return to Nigeria if P2B wins the election. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Nigerians drag Nigerians have called out a young man, set to be the son of the chairman for his tweet on election day. On February 25th, while Nigerians were still voting in various polling units, Naim Mamou tweeted, If P2B wins, I am not going back to Nigeria. Then on Wednesday, March 1st, after INEC chairman Mamou Jakubu announced a pieces baller Tadambo as the winner of the presidential election, a screenshot reportedly of Naim congratulating his father on a job well done went viral. Naim face can be seen on the screenshot of a video call with Mamou Jakubu and it was posted online with the caption, Alhamdulillah, a heavy tax executed perfectly. Then just trip to Naim's election day Twitter call him out as he was forced to make his Twitter account private. <laughs> you know, I see, immediately I saw this, I was like, ah, Nigeria is a bit react to issues. Then go drag this boy. Then go drag this man. I don't, and on another thought, I no blame her. Because I've told people, I sat down, I've sat down with a few Northerners. People who, Northerners. And these people have this belief that Nigeria belongs to them. Shockingly. There was like, eh, no be a book again, Nigeria. <laughs> I, I, you know, since that day, I, I now stopped blaming, uh, you know, them for what is happening to them. The people I now blame is the elite. And this thing will continue until it will continue and continue until, you know, somebody breaks the cycle of telling them. Why I'm saying it's going to continue like this is because you see this particular thing now. You see this particular news. I mean, you see this particular thing now that they said, eh, it's not going to come back to Nigeria. Now, waiting, they don't tell them. Now, which is they don't use brainwash them. A lot of them have been brainwashed in such a, a manner. Because, you know why I started asking this kind of a question? I started asking this kind of a question when I normally hear that, um, what's it called? The Fulani headers will go to your farm and then only say that you ask them, you know, say, say, they do there. They will come the verse. You know, before you know it, I started asking, see, you know, be say these people, then they tell them for their place, say, everywhere on their own. We're going to make them go enter your land. Even if they want, even, even if they be shepherds, we say they need uh, this thing. We're going to feed their, their flock. You understand? Their cattle, their head of cattle. They can also come and, you know, ask you. If not sign, they go use follow you talk. Tell you say they want feed. And out of the goodness of your heart, if you tell them, say, ah, okay, make them come, you go give them. And you go give them, Abby. But this mentality of you go person land, you degrade up on top of person farm. Ha! And then you come. The only person wait for you say, I ain't get something. Then they behave like that. Now you make as I come reason the thing. I can't say no. This attitude is not normal. Until I now, until now find out that what they tell these people is that all this Nigeria belongs to them. And Nadia carry my hand for it. Say, hey, this elite. The day where these people go wake up from this sleep. The day where these people go wake up from this slumber, they have a go gas for in their head. Now, you people are having a field day, brainwashing these people, telling them that civilization is a ram, making them to believe that the only job they can do is to rear cattle. No worry. On a very good day, these people will snap out. They are going to snap back to reality. And they are going to explain to them why you why you bubble them rich like this? We are going to explain to them why you bubble them rich like this because to me it doesn't make sense. Now back to the news. I not blame this young man now. Nobody be waiting, Papa don't brainwash him. Tell them say I read on part I read on particular passage where they call what they refer to the Southeasterners as the Yamiris. That they tell them that the Yamiris are not good people. You understand? Yamiris are actually the South Easterners. That the South Easterners are the Yamiris and they're not good people. They're not supposed to be trusted. And, and I'm like, wow. You know, a whole lot. 
But when they make this people they misbehave, I read that person I was like, now wow. Now when they make this people they misbehave like this, it doesn't make sense. And this is the same people shouting, Nigeria cannot be disunited. We how they used to come. Okay, now Nigeria cannot be disunited, but your people they make life a living hell for those people. The son is coming out to say if Peter be in selection, he won't return to Nigeria. She should better carry his load. He did not he should make sure he should come back and carry everything. He should carry his family members and good year as well. Even in Papa safe. He doesn't want to abandon his father here. He should carry uh, what did they wait for? Now make this country better now I want. That is my own. That is what people are not seeing. But people are looking like uh, make I hold on to power. I don't ask, I beg. The houses for the time we said they don't hold power. I beg we see they use this power drill. Now see their people now then be the most now then be the, they refer to as the poverty capital of this country. I be a lie. I no lie now. Then this power that you are asking for, this power will be say if they do like say if you no collect them, something go happen. What exactly are you using it for? That's the million dollar question. What is this, this power for? Because I not see where you come as I can't talk, say, uh, this particular thing, now you use them for. We not see the development, you don't see the human development for your side. Because, believe you me, I keep saying it, if the way we be saying this, people hold on to power, now the way we be say, then they use, and um, use and do something meaningful. We are not even going to, uh, I've said it before, if Nigeria goes to the place where no matter who is in power, eh, Everybody is going to be fine. The person is going to come out and treat all tribe fine. The person is going outside and is going to do things that will make Nigeria a better country. I kid you not. Nobody will come outside and complain. Whether it is an ethnic person or whether the person stayed there for 30 years old, so far the person is doing the right thing. I kid you not. No, you will not hear anybody complain. But why everybody is complaining now is you don't hope out for a very long time. You know, see what you use and do. You know you can do better thing. Then you're still coming out to say you want to continue holding it. That just like um, the not uh, what's it called the APDPs now. We have somebody in power. And you're still coming out to tell us that eh, you know it, it doesn't work like that. So this man no no this young man no no they not tell them who Nigerians be before you come as I can't open their mouth. Oh, tell them say making no verse or making sorry. Eh, they not tell them who Nigerians be. You can't come as I can't they talk anyhow. Yeah. Then go ahead and go drag in life. Next time, you know, come as I come make careless statements like that.